Welcome to Bree's Lip Service. Um. Started this, I decided to do the video after I put the rice in the bowl, so forgive me, but I just eyeball it. I don't do any specific measurements. I use organic uh, white rice, as you can see the bag right there, organic short grain. You can use brown rice, you can use white rice, it's up to you. Um, but try to make sure it's organic, you know, that's a better option. So you want to massage the rice, squeeze it, wash it. Um, I was squeezing it, squeezing it, squeezing it. And then I remember I saw on another girl's video that she actually washed it with both hands, like scrubbed it. So you'll see me do that a little bit later on. But right here, I am just pressing it. And the reason for this is you want to get all the nutrients out of the rice. So some people just soak the rice, which is what I did the very first time around um, when I made my rice water. But now, as you can see, I'm washing it. Uh, so now I have the lemon. Um, this is for the smell. I don't be, I don't know if it adds anything else, um, but I do know it's specifically for the smell. You'll see me try to use a potato pillar to see if I could peel, uh, you know, the skin of the lemon, but it's not working. So you'll see I'll just um, use a knife um, as well, but. Um, the knife isn't that good either. It does. It's a paring knife. It's for fruit, but mainly when you cut it and slice it versus like trying to peel, it doesn't have any like ridges on it. So it worked better than the potato peeler, but, um, not as good as just, um, peeling it with my hands. So you'll see me go in and actually begin to peel with my hands. And so now you'll see me actually wash the rice or scrub it. As I said, I saw another female doing her video. So I'm just scrubbing it, scrubbing it, scrubbing it because I want to get all the nutrients out of the rice. This time around, I'm doing it the long version way. So I will not be soaking the rice for 24 hours. I will be scrubbing out the nutrients, washing the rice so that the nutrients come out, leaving, draining the um here you're about to see me drain uh, strain it or drain it uh because you're not going to use the rice but you're going to use the water that you obtained from scrubbing the rice along with the lemon peels and you're going to boil it so right now you'll see me pour it into the pot So you see me um, squeezing out all the water, all the little last bits of water and nutrients into the pot. Um, along with the lemon peels, you see it's just the water in there. No rice is in there. It's just the water and the lemon peels. The lemon peels is for the smell because if you haven't done rice water yet, rice water stinks. It is atrocious. So you want to either add some uh, essential oils or the lemon pills or orange pills some sort of acid fruit skin in there um, and so yeah so you see it's to a boil now so now I'm going to turn it off and let it cool down so let it cool down and make sure you put it in a glass container with the air tight lid so it's cooled off enough for me to put it in the glass and I'm going to keep the lemon in it, but there is no rice in it. I want to stress that again. No rice, just the water from the rice and the lemon. The lemon is going to help keep it, just add some sort of scent to it <laughs> besides just the stinky rice water. Uh, you can add essential oils. Last time I, or the first time I did it, I added rosemary and, um, tea tree oil and it actually uh worked like it helped it really takes away that stinky smell 
put the lid on make sure it's airtight let it sit and ferment from a week to three months I'm gonna do a week to two weeks and I'll come back and show you how it looks and now this is how it looks you'll see all the white stuff at the bottom that is actually all the goodies from the rice that's all the nutrients there at the bottom you want to shake it up pour it a little bit in a spray bottle and use it on your hair my next video I'll show you how I use it but um use the citrus skin because let me tell you honey the citrus skin is way better than the essential oils so if you're out there and you've been using the essential oil method try this skin it makes it smell like some citrus I don't know, some popsicle or something. It's good. Um.